$15 for a movie ticket isn't cool. You know what's cool? $50. Sean Parker, the billionaire internet disruptor behind Facebook and Napster, now has his sights set on the movie business. Parker's product is called The Screening Room, and it would let you watch first-run movies still playing in theaters in the comfort of your own home. It would cost $150 for a set-top box. After that, each movie would cost $50 a piece, which includes two additional tickets to actually see the movie in theaters after you screen it at home. The first question is, would people actually pay for this? According to a Business Insider Twitter survey with 1,500 participants, 61% said, no way, that's too expensive, and only 14% said yes. Universal Pictures experimented with the idea back in 2011, when it charged $59.99 to stream the Ben Stiller movie Tower Heist on the day it came out in theaters. According to the studio, the experiment failed. Parker already has a list of major players who advocate his product. Steven Spielberg, J.J. Abrams, Ron Howard, and Peter Jackson have all voiced support for the screening room. Now it's just a waiting game to see if the studios and the movie theater chains will play ball. And who knows how long that could take. Netflix definitely disrupted the entertainment industry, but it's not like people aren't going to the movies anymore. Domestic movie ticket sales in 2015 were actually up 7% compared to the previous year. Thanks, JJ. So would I purchase the screening room? Absolutely. And I know a lot of other film fans who would too. People who have to wait weeks or even months for certain limited release titles to get to their markets. In the case of where I'm from, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, movies like Carol and Room never even made it to the local multiplex. You had to drive an hour to Birmingham to see those movies. Let's say you have four or five buddies who all want to see Carol the day it comes out, and you split the $50 price. If you get enough people together to split the cost, like a lot of people do with boxing and UFC pay-per-views, it suddenly makes sense. But there are some things that need to be seen in the theater, like the next Star Wars and Avengers movies. But if they ever make a sequel to Carol, party at my place.